Hello, welcome back uh, to our ISI BSTAT and BMath video classes and today I will be doing some more tomato solutions. I've selected some questions uh, on your previous uh, request. So this one is question number 302. So they have given a long part 1 into 2, 2 into 3, 3 into 4, dot 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 99 into 100 and they've asked us to sum. So how they are doing it here if the first term is a and the second term is n plus 1 and every time it goes on. So all we need is summation of n into n plus 1 which is summation of n square plus n. So here i equal to 1 to not 100 but 99 because the first term is n. So this 99 is the key. So if 99 is what? So summation of n square and 1 to 99 is the sum of the first n natural numbers. So we have the formula over here. So the formula will lead you to 99 in case of n square 99 into 2n plus 1 into n plus 1 by 6 and the other part is 99 into 100 by 2. That is the formula of n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6 and n into n plus 1 by 2. In some of my advanced video, I will tell you about what with the formula of summation of n4, summation of n5, summation of n6, even summation of n7 also can be done. You possibly haven't done before, but that is also possible. Okay, I'm giving it in this video only. So for example, before going to give you this, okay, let me just finish this question, it will be easier. So this portion is 99, so 50, 99 into 50, this is 4, 9, 5, 0. And uh, this part, if you calculate, it will count 3 to 8, 3, 5, 0. And if we just add it, it is 4, quadruple 3 and a double 0. So get your answer. Now coming back to the very interesting thing, uh, I figured out that, uh, you see, for example, you just take summation of n. So that is, that is what? Summation of k values and k equal to 1 to n. So that is n into n plus 1 by 2 we write. Now teachers have told me, my teachers also have told me the same thing and we used to write it. Now, I what I did, I, I just multiplied n square plus 2 and n by 2. And if you just do it for k square, you see that the formula was n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 6. If you again multiply this, this will also give you a very interesting pattern and after a little bit of calculation on the basis of this, uh, I have explained in my uh, elaborate video on this progression, this will come to this part. So again 6 is the LCM and uh, the above part if you do it, I want you to do it. Don't trust me, you don't need to trust me, just calculate and see whether it's coming or not, okay? Now this k cube, we know n into n plus 1 by 2 whole cube. Even if you proceed like this, I know you can guess the first term, it should be n4 by 4. But guessing the second term, will it be n cube by 2? Yes, it's n cube by 2. Now try to guess the next one. So all that you can guess is, is it 3, 2, 1, 2, 1, 4, 3, so it is something n square. If you have guessed it, correct. Now the main issue is, what will be that? It, it is 3, 2, is it 6? Or 4, 2 is 8? No. This also follows a pattern. Actually, here you need to think about the LCM. And the LCM is 4. If you take any number more than 4, the problem will be there. So this will be 4. You can cross check again. Better we remember the formula afterwards. So what is the K4? Now the new thing is coming. So the K4 is obviously the first term is n5 by 5. Second term will be, will it be n4 by 2? Answer is yes. It will be n4 by 2. And the third term? Third term will be obviously n cube. But what will be the denominator? This will be 3 and the last one is n by 40. Now from here the pattern is breaking. So you need to remember this for relatively tougher questions. In my uh, MSQ, uh, sorry, in the BSTAR solutions I will be doing. Uh, k to the power 5 is n 6 by 6, n 5 by 2, so far so good. This one is 5n to the power 4 by 12, uh, n squared by 12, and k 6 in that way will be n 7 by 7, 
n to the power 6 by 2 n 5 by 2 minus n cube by 6 and n by 42 don't just see it please write it in your copies because this video may you forget the particular link this may get deleted who knows okay i want you to have it with you and you can amaze anyone with this so n8 by 8 n7 by 2 minus 7 n6 by 12 7 n4 by 24 and this part will be n squared by 12 even it can be extend to k8 so that is n9 by 9 n8 by 2 plus 2 n to the power 7 by 3 minus 7 n to the power 5 by 15 plus 2 n cube by 9 and minus n by 30. So till now this much will be more than enough for you to proceed and amaze yourself. Okay, now I'm proceeding to the next question of the day and uh, in uh, the next question is question number 302. Don't worry, I'm not going to solve this one. Okay, uh, sorry, 303 because this is almost the replica of the previous question. This time they have given 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, dot, 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 20, 21 and 22. You can simply see it is n into n plus 1 into n plus 2. So that you can do it n square plus n n plus 2 so this will be n cube uh, plus 2n square plus n square so 3n square plus 2n put the summation this will be n into n plus 1 by 2 square 3 into n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6 and this will be 2 into n into n plus 1 by 2 so all these places what you have to put yes you have guessed it right put 20 all these places and you will get your answer Okay, so now I am proceeding uh, to next question. This one is associated with logarithm. Uh, Rahul from Jharkhand have requested me to solve this question. And actually it isn't, it isn't uh, that much a tough question. Okay, uh, but still uh, as uh, you have requested. So question number 206 is log x base k into log k base 5 is 3 and find x. So here it will be simply Rahul that log x by log k you can do it like this and simply log k by log 5. So these two will cancel out. So log x by 5 so can be written as log x base 5 by 3. So x equal to 5. This will go up. This is a process and this will be 125. You we'll get your answer very easily. Okay. So now I am going to proceed with the uh, question number. Okay, just give me a second to check it. Okay, this one is... ...94. So in question number 94 they have given the number of divisors. The number of divisors and remember that if you want to really know about all these process we can't just provide everything on youtube there's a restriction so uh, you can join my online classes and for that i have uh, given you the phone number of my assistant he will pick up and give you the details about our classes and if you are staying in whatever cities we have centers in kolkata and new delhi but if you are staying in whatever the cities we are there to help you okay online and offline both and the study materials are also available okay now coming back to the question again so the number of devices of 2700 so number of devices of 2700 including 1 and 2700 equals what so we need to find the number of devices so here 2700 if we have to do it so we have to break it to the lowest level the lowest prime every number can be expressed the main idea is every number can be expressed as product of primes that's it now that is a really really very important concept for example you can think about any number as i'm not in front of you so i can't ask you a question so you ask yourself a question so like 39 so 3 and 13, both are prime. Take a bigger number, 120. So 2 into 60. So these two are not prime. This is a non-prime. So even 60 is 6 into 10, and then 3 into 2, and then 5 into 2. So every time, these all are now primes. Maybe this was the basic reason of adding 
two into the primes category. Well, that's a different story, and that is not the answer actually. Okay, why two is a prime? So now two seven zero zero is two square into three q in five square. You can express it like this. And the formula is if you get all these basic primes, so the total number of devices is they also follow a formula that is m1 plus 1 this product powers add 1 and take the product that is 2 plus 1 3 plus 1 and 2 plus 1 so that will be simply 36 so anything any power you just have to express is express in terms of primes and afterwards you just proceed with this formula